I think we're live. We should be live. It ain't coming up on this end. I don't know why. Can y'all hear me out there? Let me know. It ain't coming up on my end. Oh, no. Okay, there it is. Okay, you can hear me. Cool, cool, cool. What's going on, the other black man? How is everyone doing today? Do y'all like that I, like, have the little notification thing on before I go live? Just trying something new. How you doing, Chuck? Bobby Fisher first, if you're in here. You get to pick the light goal. Stop talking with two voices. Is it? Is it two voices? I don't understand how it's two voices. I only hear one on my iPad. How are you going to make us sit here waiting for the premiere just for an ad to pop up with a stream actually starting? Oh, that's not my fault. That's a YouTube thing. I will have to turn, I'm going to have to turn the abs off. 65 likes. I'm going to have to turn the abs, uh, abs, ads off um, at the start of my stream and then turn them on after I uh, get everything set up. But I promise I do have the ads on, but I don't control when the ads drop. I think the tube figures that out. So I do sincerely apologize about that. 65 likes, okay. Okay, drop that there. Let me drop it over here. Make sure everyone else knows that a brother is live. Wow, at it. Oh crap. That's welcome. Um, hold on. Bobby Fizz, Husky Harrison, Casey Thunder, Hake, Bob Chuck, the other black man. How's everyone? Hope you're well. Maybe my um, maybe my intro is way too long. How you gonna make? Oh, right, right, already sixty-five likes. Now nah, keep the ads on if you're making money off of it. Okay. How? Right to jail, right away. I love the new additions to the intro. Yeah, I just uh, I created them uh, I think on Sunday, and now they're like really they're a, lot, they're a lot longer. Oh, is this worth it? I heard Paragon. I mean, yeah, Paragon players are getting screwed again. Four point five. Let's go. Yeah, we're about to say we're three hundred and fifty subs away from five thousand guys. Can you believe it? Five thousand subs. What are we gonna do to celebrate? What do y'all think we should do to celebrate for the 5,000 subs? All I got to say is I'm excited. Didn't think I would get here that this fast. But guys, I, I was watching Dr. Disrespect play um, Helldivers, and it kind of does look fun. Necro two paths run. I don't know about two paths. Maybe a path. I don't know about two consecutively. The double platinum track is back lefty, and it's worth, uh, it's worth it again for $9.99. Okay, maybe I'll get it. Maybe I'll get it. Because I can always use some more, um, more rewards. <sighs> I stayed up late last night. I started binge watching Suits. How you doing, Mike Hill? Amazing show. Why didn't y'all tell me how good Suits was? Show was absolutely amazing. What's platinum track? I just give out more rewards for money. Ozark is better. Maybe I need to watch Ozark as well. So what's up with your oh dag? This Stacy's pot didn't even see him. I'm gonna watch binge watching Superman and Lois when it comes out here. Okay. Where are you at, um, Mike Hill? If you don't mind me asking.
Checking game, Tracy. I think the platinum track is. I don't know why I'll, I'll be coming back. I'm in the UK and it's still not out here yet. Oh, okay. Cause I was about to say it's already out. It should uh should already be out. I don't think all the and suits are in the same category. Left. I'm looking at the Contra game for forty dollars. And it's, that stopped a couple weeks ago. What do you mean? Like the old Contra game from like Nintendo? You talking about that one? Because it, I, I will be getting Hell Divers this weekend. That's probably on my list. I, I might, I might, I don't know when I want to stream that, but it looks like a fun game. Yes, but no. It's a new Contra. Is there a new Street Fighter game coming out? I've seen the trailer for not a Tuma, Altima. Is it Altuma? Or is it a Tuma like in this on this game? Because I've I seen the trailer for a Tuma and it said it was coming out spring 2024. What you know about Contra, bro? I used to play Contra. Me and my brother used to play that all the time. How do y'all deal with this AI? This is a bad matchup series, shocking me. That means I'm I'm also shocking you. It's not that bad of a matchup. Not that bad at all. Annoying, yes, but not that bad of a matchup. Who put Shuri in the uh, battle? I'm mean, in uh, arena. Right to jail, right away. I don't know. <sighs> up, up, down, down, left, right, select, start. Yusafa, how are you doing? I remember that code. That wasn't the, um, I don't think that was the only code for Contra. That was a, that, I think that code worked for something else. I forgot the game, but I remember that code. Up, up, down, down. Forgot what else, what other code that worked for, what other game it worked for. What's up, Lefty? What's going on, Laser? How are you doing? Bobby Fish, should I release the um the Johnny Cage fatalities tomorrow? I think I might release that uh, that fatality tomorrow. Oh, that's what I deleted. Oh, the because. Oh man. Up down, left, right was Sonic on um, Mega Drive. I think you're right. Yep. I think uh, okay, Bobby Fish. I might I'm probably gonna it's already edited. I'm probably gonna release Johnny Cage tomorrow. I don't know, Jack, about Contra, but yeah, best believe I grew up in the era where you had to buy a book for cheat codes. I remember that. I do remember that. Oh, Chilif. That's what I can't parry her. Oh, I can parry her when she doesn't have cleanse charges. And if my parry works. What's going on, Mikey? How are you doing? Hope you're well. I mean, I was so bad at Contra, I couldn't even beat it with 100 lives. I love Contra. I don't remember getting that far, but I, I do love Contra. Oh, how did I miss? Oh, we got him. That nice. Wasn't Contra that really hard game back in the day? I don't think that was it. I don't think that was it. Because. Uh, I was editing something today and I accidentally deleted a soundbite and I deleted the because one. So that's why I just recorded it. Let me see. How does it? Bro, it ain't letting me edit. There we go. Because. Perfect. Kabam, still allow bugs in the system, straight to jail. <laughs> right to jail, right away. How you doing, Morrow? How you doing, Burning? How about cheats in MCLC? Right to jail, right away. No cheats in MCLC. You delete because soundbite, jail. No, it was an accident. Right to jail, right away. I re recorded some sound bites because when I was listening back to them on the playback, they had some fuzz in them and I didn't like it. Like, hold on, listen to this one. Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. What do you think a plant is? 
is. But let us get on the line, boy boy. I made him sound a little I made I made him sound better. Is Straight to Jail a new sound you added yesterday? I was watching one of the most controversial movies of all time, The Devils, banned in seven countries, and we had to watch it on bootleg. Yeah, that's one of the ones I added yesterday. How you doing, Husky Harrison? So my fault. I've re I just re-recorded it, so because it's there. Because. I took some time off from the game, Mr. Hill. I'm going all... I'm all good now. How are you, buddy? Good. We're good. Um, I can understand taking uh, time off from the game. I still play the game, but I, I definitely play like four other games now. I play so many other games, and I'm getting a new game this weekend. So I play Spider-Man 2, Suicide Squad, but I already beat that and, and reviewed it. I'm probably not going to play that much anymore. God of War, Helldivers, Mortal Kombat, Fortnite, and MCLC. And you know what, guys? Tell me... Um, Tell me this, should I, like, during the week, instead of playing MCOC five days a week, should I play, like, MCOC four days a week and then play another game? How you doing, Alan Walker? Hope you will. <laughs> I take my time off the game with Necro and 8.4, 100%. Understandable. Understandable. What the heck is Devils? Never heard of it. I never heard of it either. Oh man, Brother Tide. Uh, Mike Hill's a movie that was so violent and incredibly anti religious. Oh wow. Well, yeah, I, won't, I probably won't be watching that. There are so many movies like that nowadays. If you get caught wa watching that movie. Right to jail, right away. What's up, nerds? Just, wa uh, just finished watching The Whip. Beautiful day out. And it was a nice day. I actually went out for a walk today outside. Mr. Hill, I'm back playing now, but I'm a low level alliance taking it chill. Me too. Well, I'm a kind of in the chill alliance too. I just want to relax and just chill. 1971, I believe it was absolutely mind fudge. Yeah, I, I'm good on that. I will live vicariously through you. No movie is worse than the cuties. Never seen it. The cuties. Dang, I still stand, stand movies with violence and horror. I give it a miss. I like horror movies, but I, I think there are some movies that just take it too far. Yep, just downloaded it on sale with PlayStation Plus for $35 and looks like you can do online up to four players. I'm just saying. I might get it. Um, I got to get Helldivers first. I definitely want to stream that. It actually looks like it's fun. Like Saw, Saw, yeah. Trying to get Bobby Man 2 is a, is a miss with BGs. Decks are crazy. I agree. Like, for me, in Battlegrounds, it's been win-loss, win-loss, win-loss every time. Do I need the angel? I kind of, no, I... Anyone seen trailers for Immaculate with Sydney Sweetie? No, I haven't seen that. Did you enjoy Echo? Never seen it. Never seen it. Like so, so I can only do uh, games like Hell Divers with friends only. I need a need a game I can run on my own. I can run on my own. Understandable. Nothing wrong with that. I'm probably gonna run Hell. Like I got several games I can run by myself. Like God of War. I'm probably gonna be running that one by myself. I don't think it's a two player game anyway. But uh, Hell Divers, I was watching Doctor Disrespect play, and it actually just looks like fun. So I might add that to the list of games. But no one told me this is Street Fighter supposed to come out this year. I could have swore I seen a tr uh, trailer for Street Fighter today, and it was for a Tuma. That's what I thought I seen. I don't know. Maybe I'll look it up myself. But I could have swore I seen a trailer for um, Street Fighter. I 
Oh, yeah, right. I promise you I threw my special. I promise you I did. This Akuma, yeah, how you doing, Fire? I did mean Akuma, my bad. I said, I keep saying Akuma. I promise I threw my special. I promise I did. He's on a DSL who, uh, who launches the spring. Should I, guys, should I get uh, Street Fighter? I didn't even know they came out with a new Street Fighter. I did not even know they came out with a new Street Fighter. Should I get uh, Street Fighter, guys? Echo was okay. Not great, not horrible. Some parts were good, but it was kind of um, slowly missed. Maybe 4.5 uh, as a Disney show. Hey, maybe do Karate Mike's Challenge. I farm so many ADB rides and we'll get started today. Okay, good luck. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Hmm, I guess we'll go here with him. <laughs> came out last year? I didn't even know it came out. That's just sad. That is just sad. Bruh. I did not even know it came out. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm too much in a bubble because how did I miss Street Fighter? Hello, what's going on, Mass Legend? How are you doing? Evening all, I have some internet back. Nice, say Fossey, how are you doing? I'm glad your internet is back. Hopefully MCOC doesn't cause you to rage as much as it is causing me to rage already. Oh man. Life without internet, I gotta admit, it's a humbling experience. It is a humbling experience. Or well, having internet that isn't really good. You know what, I would just, Say, so I'll call the uh, cable company and be like, Right to jail, right away. Man, oh, we got to claim these. Oh, that, what do we get out? What do we get today? What, what, what rewards do we get today? Anything good? Oh, we get seven stars, six stones. I'm here for that energy. No internet? Right to jail, right away. I got body hotspot. I use a backup, but nothing like the real thing. I I agree. Hundred percent agree. They cut the fiber into my neighbor coming into my hip. They did. Who do you have? Did I get everything I needed? No. Okay. Sure. Ten sigs. Now let the or our first ever bit of them. Yep. First seven star six stones. I don't even know who I'll use them on. Probably Shuri. Brightspeed, Century Lake. I've never heard of them before. I have um, Verizon. They're not bad. I used them SIGs on my 7 star rank 3 Void. Really? Okay. Not a bad choice. Not a bad choice at all. Would y'all be okay with me playing another game during the week instead of MCOC? Like maybe on Thursday, play a different game. Be real with me. You're gone. You're gone. Mm, he doesn't really have anyone else I want to ban, but I'll ban him. Yeah, of course. Because I was thinking about maybe playing like Hell Divers on Thursday. Oh, I didn't draft Quicksilver. Kabam. I thought they fixed this. Very long time ago, it was Sprint when I worked for them, but then it became Embark and the Century League. Now I'm Bright Speed. I'll be like, look, pick a name and stick to it. <laughs> I have three, four Magicka gems, but I'm not using it on 
Cersei's saying she's the only option I have. I'm going to tell you to play something else, but Lefty 2 loyal to the MCOT game. I, am, I won't lie, I am loyal to them. But I mean, Bobby Fish, I am slowly gravitating to other games. Mike Hill, I mean, Hake says yes. Okay, thank you, Hake. I appreciate that. I have AT&T and Fiverr and love it. I like Verizon. I do love some Verizon, so... Superstar stat tears. Um, we'll go we'll go here. Waiting on Verizon files to be available in my area. I do like them. Rank up bullseye lefty. Actually, you're right. I do need to rank him up. I, I think I have the resources to. We'll look after this. I think I do. You're right. I think I do need to rank him up. Kate Bishop. Um, I know what he's trying to do. I know what he's trying to do. I get a discount with them through my employer, which is always nice. Nice. Okay, I'll rank up Bullseye. Um, I need to, I definitely need to rank him up. I think he's ranked two. I don't know if I had the resources to take him to rank three. I don't know. Let me back up a little bit. This bro, and she push. She, see, this is the A, the AI knows exactly what it's doing. The AI knows exactly what it's doing. I'm convinced that the SP two is the hardest hitting special in the game for most champions. You know what? I don't even know what happened there, but that wasn't my fault. <laughs> I have one gig service in the past few days was only getting 10 millimeters out of them. You see how my AI, uh, my champion dashed in. I didn't, I didn't press the button for it to dash in. I was standing there holding block and it dashed in on its own. When was the last time Kabam addressed input issues? Does anyone know when, they, when the last time they addressed it or said something about it? Because I feel like we need to make more of a ruckus about it because if they're not going to do anything if we don't say anything about it. Like, this is getting ridiculous. About 50 years ago? That sounds about right. Make no sense. So you will have to, uh, hey, hey, you don't have to believe me. You want, you're uh, just like Maurice. You just troll me when I, when uh, something wrong happens to me. A month or two ago, they said something would change this month, and I haven't heard anything yet. Halfway through the month, input issues were all fixed. No, they weren't. They were not all fixed. <laughs> that, that's a lie. Like I don't know who they were fixed for. Maybe they were fixed for certain players. They were not fixed for everyone. Oh, amazing. Well, come on. <sighs> Input issues, more than the AI issues, same bugs, wearing different clothes. Of course they are. <sighs> I 
I wonder how long the community will continue to put up with these uh, input issues. Bro, I, I dex. And <laughs> my gosh. This game is this game is just going downhill. Slow every year this game goes lower and lower down here. This is like you can't even play Battlegrounds efficiently with these input issues. To, on back in consecutive fights, input issues cost me the fight. Consecutive fights. Kabam has issue lying to us, don't trust them at all. I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not when it comes to input issues in the AI. Hell no. Hell no. You must be all you must be on George. You think I'm gonna believe them about oh, we're gonna change the AI. No, you're not. It's making you money. You're not going to change the AI. Like, you would think you have the common decency to at least to fix the input issues. Sub left in the chat. Rank up question six star to rank four possible assistant CDR, Asman or Scorpion. I'll probably go Scorpion or Absman. How you doing, Robert Jeffries? Talk about the new buff of Gladiator. How you doing, Zaps? I wasn't really impressed by it, to be honest, Zaps. They won't get urgent about it until we get urgent about the issue, Lefty. That's why I always complain about the AI and the input issues, because they need to be fixed yesterday. Gladiator buff is okay, but he still misses a few immunities. Talk about the new Gladiator buff. I did already. We'll go Yeah. I spent five K units today and got myself a seven star bullseye. He will rank round for now because I feel he gets uh he will get tuned down. You think so? I don't think he's gonna get tuned down. Oh, that is some good defenders. Do we'll go here and here. I wanted that torch. I want. I wanted four champions. He won't get tuned down, but they're probably going to be a counter soon. How you doing, Brendan? I hope there is a counter because we need a counter. Like they have put out a lot of defensive champions. It's just me or Human Torch not that fast anymore in BG matchups. He's still fast, but he kind of is falling a little bit by the wayside. Falling a little bit by the wayside. Oh, he doesn't have a counter for this guy. I love that for him. Onslaught needs a counter. He does. I 100% agree with that. Archangel is probably the best counter for um, Bullseye. Bullseye nuts at the moment. And what up, homie? He, as long as you can parry him, you should be fine. Torch must be rank five and ascended. I'm not ascending or rank five in Torch right away. He's kind of a one dimensional, one dimensional um, champion to me. He's only good offensively, and probably good in battlegrounds. I won't. I wouldn't use Torch many other places. Outside of battlegrounds, maybe maybe occasionally in war. Not for question though. Eventually, you will do it, but not a number one priority. No, he's not a number one priority. Not right now. Ironheart has a counter goofballs, or is it? Or is? Ironheart? I think Simula put out a good video on Ironheart. I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. Galon. When dust, uh, Bobby Fish, when dust becomes more worth it, or more common, I probably will. I mean, also has a counter and her name is Ironheart. I'm tweaking. Oh, Iron, I mean, Ironheart's a counter? I think you're maybe right. Because I, I think she can parry non-contact hits. I remember doing a breakdown on her. 
Oh, my masters talk about new gladiator month. I'm not, I'm not annoying your masters. I already talked about it in another stream. So if you want to look at yesterday's stream or the, uh, the day before that, you're more than welcome, but I'm not talking about it uh, anymore. Bro, why is my parry not working? Like, this is getting ridiculous now. I can't, I can't do anything with this. Like, the, the parry is just, it, bro, it is, it's beyond frustrating at this point. I cannot parry consistently. Is he fast in killing Onshaw? I don't know. Shocker is great onslaught counter. It, it, yeah, if you can parry, yeah, he is. <laughs> like if you if your inputs are working, he is sure. Half the time I lose matches, not even because I'm not skilled, it's because the inputs are terrible. Like <laughs> Kabam has got to address these inputs sooner or later. Like they cannot continue just to ignore them. Parry time does feel a bit off for me since last week. Every time they upgrade up, uh, upgrade the game or update the game, they, they throw the parry timing every single time. Every single time, and they don't do anything about it. And it's like, how can you continue to keep ignoring the fact that your game was built on parrying and players rely on parrying and you, you're not doing anything to fix it? Like, it's so frustrating. It's like, I want this game to be great, but you can't want it for someone that doesn't want it for themselves. That's what I'm learning. You can't do anything in this game. Like, goodness gracious. I have Ironheart ranked up. She is good against Photon because she's still like... It's a basic mechanic. We can't even use it reliably. You can't depend on Dex either. Exactly. You can't depend on the, the two things that built this game. Parry and Dex. And we can't, we can't even rely on that anymore. They done messed up the game so much. It's just like... You have y'all have to do something about the about this because like these input issues are horrible. Like I don't know how you could continue to ignore it at this point. Like I'm all, we're already dealing with a ramped AI, but we got to deal with input issues on top of that. That's just not fair. They're doing things to fix parry. They keep adding champs that just ignore. Right. I told like they're they're legit. Like it's like so, so, like I'm feeling I'm feeling like masteries are eventually going to become pointless in the game because there's going to be tons of champions that just counter at every any and every master mastery. Like how how does onslaught's first light and first medium are both non contact kicks so you can't parry them. Like. Imagine a new player coming in, knows a bit uh, about the game mechanics, starts learning them just to find out the champs take away mastery and they can't use what they learn. Unfair. This is why I started branching out playing other games. This is exactly why. Like it was, it's one th like if the, if it was just like the AI being ramped and they they didn't tweak they tweak the AI, you know y'all would have a point like okay lefty you're complaining about it's the AI that's part of the game just deal with it. But when the input we pile the the ramped AI on top of the input issues that's just how am I not going to complain about that? P1 new mastery yeah like like let's just make all masteries worthless. Great decision, Kabam. Right to jail, right? Right to jail, right away. How you doing, JJ? But that's the game. That's what uh, what I was. That's what I was thinking about. Like uh, playing MCOC maybe three days a week, and then um, playing maybe Hell Divers, God of War, Mortal Kombat, Fortnite on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday, just to branch out from MCOC because these these input issues, these new champions that they were adding uh, that are adding that literally can shut down entire masteries. It's gonna make me lose my mind. It's literally gonna make me lose my mind. Like BG was talking about it yesterday in his stream. He said, I, I don't remember exactly what he said, but he was playing, he was testing Serpent, and I don't think he had a very favorable review for Serpent. 
I can't remember what he said, but he he said something to the. What, I, I don't want to misquote him, but I don't I don't know if he was impressed with Serpent. I could be wrong, so I don't want to misquote BG. BG spoken about champs like Bullseye, for example, not being good for the game, Lefty. Oh, uh, okay. I don't remember exactly what he said, but I, it, my impression, now I don't know if this is what BG meant. I, I was watching, I was doing something else. I think I was editing and I was watching him in the background. It didn't seem like he was impressed with Serpent, but that could have been my interpretation of it. He may have been impressed and I just didn't know it, notice it. But yeah, it didn't look like he was impressed with Serpent to me. Not because Serpent was bad, but because of all the stuff in his kit. Like, I, don't, I don't know if he liked everything in his kit. But again, I don't want to misquote BG, so go back and definitely check out his stream to get his actual thoughts. But I didn't think he was my I didn't think he was impressed with it. I'm telling you, Brookstrom is bad for the game. I guess I just don't want to believe it, but it, to me, I like Serpent because of his utility. It's just that it seemed like Kabam took all the best things about other champions and put it in Serpent. And it's just like he's kind of he is kind of OP. Like he has Pierce, unblockable special, shuts down masteries, he has immortality and healing, and he can basically nullify uh, unblockable. It's just like goodness. Granted, it was off season, so no boost. But damn, so Foster, you didn't like um you don't like Serpent as a defender. It's a matter of believing, in fact. People don't think the earth is round, but it is. Serpent is bad for the game, period. But my, when you say bad for the game, what do you mean by that? Like, what's going to happen to the game if Serpent is left in the game as is? Like, because all it, to me, like, people say tons of champions are bad for the game, but yet they stay in the game and people love them and they're still here and the game's still here. People say Hercules is bad for the game. The game is still here, doing fine-ish. So, like, when you say bad for the game, you got to go in depth. Like, what is it going to do to the game that makes it bad for the game? Hello, that businessman. How are you doing? First, I tried to get him 35 cents. It took him took me more than six after that before I killed him. That stupid uh, X decibel, not special, hurts when you aren't boosted in healing. Um, what uh, Say, Fossey, my strategy for dealing with... Um, Serpent, when he's about to throw his special, he always throws out one little hit before he actually throws the unblockable part. So this dash back, and when he's in the air on his SP1, um, dash back at the last moment, it won't count as a dex. You, it, it'll just be like you avoiding it. It's hard to explain. I've done it before. It's actually in my breakdown if you want to go give that a uh, shout. Is he an instant ban? I don't know. I feel like he has a lot of counters to me. Like, if you have Mystic Dispersion, he's actually a really easy counter. Mystic Champions basically destroy him. Oh, she... I forgot. I, I, didn't, I didn't think I dexed there, but maybe I did. Me uh, Mega Rage Inducer because of turning off decks, unblockable special, death immunity. If he becomes a story boss, he's a great way to make sure a free-to-play player stop playing. Yeah, it was on Hydra Shift when I opened, so back was against the wall because I had to wait out Shock Phase. Then went with Global. He was had seven stacks of Indestructible up at times. Much fun. I, I kind of agree. They're, they're really making it tough to the point it's like Champ certain champions, they're basically becoming pretty much undefeatable. It's like with all these nodes and the stuff that built in the kit, the thing that that caught me by surprise that Kabam added was the fact that they put battlegrounds in his kit. They put like when he in battlegrounds, he starts off with four dread, and it's like I don't know if that's fair. I I don't know if that's fair because no uh, no other champion has that in their kit. So is that fair? I just don't know. 
Yeah, back against the wall, can't deck special. If you can't blocking, it's unblockable. Pretty much. Yeah, that that's a unavoidable um that is a unavoidable situation. That definitely gonna have to create champions that you know what? Uh, they they create champions that shut down masteries. How come they don't make champions that boost masteries? That's what I want to know. Like, all right, Kabam, you made you made a champion that shut down a mastery. When are you gonna create champions that boost masteries? That make our masteries more efficient. I think they should do the same for APOC. Mayor with four charges. What's going on, um, this motherfucker? Like, they need to start adding champions that, like, um, that actually stop champions from shutting down masteries. And you don't read my message. I'm in a fight. Uh, yourself is bad for the game, but you are still here. Hey, bud. You know, I'm not the best at this game, but I do, I do think I'm very knowledgeable about this game. I don't know why I have to give you reasons why he's bad for the game, but we've been discussing how fair he is in like three different streams. Y'all killing me. <laughs> well, the point of game where War and BG's two of the most competitive game modes just aren't fun. Did you read about the new content dropping with mid rewards? No, I didn't read about that. What's the new content dropping with mid rewards? What, 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 what's, the, what's that? That'll give us something else to complain about. What are, what are the mid rewards? Like this game for me, it's hard to play this game outside of streaming. And I'm, I'm really getting to the point where it's like, I want this game to be great and I want to continue to play this game on stream. But it's, it's getting to the point where it's not, it's not easy for me to do that as much. Like I'm just not as motivated to play this game off stream. And there are days it's like, it's Monday. I don't even know if I feel like playing MCOC today. I'd rather play a different game. I'm getting to that point. It's like, I don't feel like being stressed out about the AI or the input issues. And I feel like <sighs> input issues are important to this game for me anyway. I can deal with the AI. Like you want to take away our strategies. That's, I guess that's something you have, you can do. But like, if you're not going to fix the input issues, then why should I continue to play the game? I'm just like, I don't feel like having to struggle and missing parries and I throw a special when it doesn't even activate because the AI threw that special at the exact same time. So their special takes precedent. It's just like, I'm just getting tired of it. It's called showcase lefty. What do you mean showcase? And then the, like, and then the bugs where the game just shuts down just for no reason at all. Skill issue. Maybe it is fade a smile. But if this is the only game that I play where there are skill issues, then maybe it's not me. Maybe it's the game. I don't have skill issues with Mortal Kombat or Fortnite. And I'm not even good at that game. And I don't have skill issues with that. Or Suicide Squad. Like, I play other games. Fade a smile. If this is the only game where I have a skill issue, I can live with that. I can. That can be lived with. Thankful we're pretty chill in war, but this season is going to be brutal. And just like I hope doesn't uh, cause too many people to retire or need a break. I can understand why people will be needing breaks. Who knows the most maintenance of MCOC? That was the uh, when the issues actually got dealt with. I remember those days. I remember those days. I can't wait until Grand Theft Auto 6 come out. That might be the game I start playing mainly on my channel. Was it on Tuesday? It was on Tuesday around like, I think 10. I think it was on, uh, on Tuesday around 10. Like we talking, we hated it, but now I would have to get back in a heartbeat. 
I kind of would too. I kind of would too. Maintenance didn't really affect me because I will always be done streaming by the time um, it always went into effect. Oh, we were able to parry him. Wow. Nice. Oh, he power locked me. I'm like, why can't I throw my special? Don't I thought I dexed that, but I guess I didn't. He caught me on the back end. Oh, that's so annoying. I guess what happened there? I thought I dexed. I threw my relic. I threw my relic. Of course we will lose that. <laughs> of course we will lose that. Will you play Tekken 8? No. That game that game requires no skill at all. I would not be playing Tekken 8. I didn't like it when I was a kid and I definitely don't like it as an adult. That game literally requires no skill, whatever. All you do is press buttons and you'll get lucky with something. Let's see, who can I go here? I have to go Kitty because if we make it to round three, he could put, uh, what's his name on defense? Now, how am I going to do this fight? So I can't parry her. They should create a champion where, whose masteries can't be shut off. That's what they should create. A champion whose masteries cannot be shut off. No matter what champion that they're fighting. You can't shut off their decks. You can't shut off their willpower. You can't shut off their um, parry. Like, we need a champion like that whose masteries cannot be affected by outside sources. I don't think Caban would do that, but they need to create a champion like that whose masteries cannot be shut down. But knowing Kabam, they probably won't do that because it will cost them money. And put it in their kit. Masteries are unaffected by outside sources. <laughs> that would be funny. What's the point of Masters? They're going to keep countering them, man. I agree. I feel like there should be no champion in this game who can affect Masteries. Masteries are something we literally work our behinds off, spend our units on. Where they should be unaffected. But I don't know if that ever happened. I just don't know, guys.
Who am I banning him, him, and him? I don't want my masters to be touched by any champion. I don't care. They really put in there, in Battlegrounds, no. That's not fair, Kabam. He's the only champion in the game who has that. Lefty, they shouldn't make champions who can take off masters. Also, Lefty, I need you to explain why Serpent is bad for the game. Well, Husky, is Photon bad for the game? Like, Serp uh, Serpent is not the only champion in the game who can um, affect mastery. Yeah, Kabam now shows a lack of creativity in terms of making hard defenders. Korg back in the day wasn't needed to shut down mastery, so it meant he was hard. I don't know if it has anything to do with creativity, but if you keep creating champions that shut down masteries, what will be the point of masteries? Uh, I'm, I'm afraid every, like, there's going to become a time when like masteries aren't going to matter. I don't mind to know that shuts down certain things, but champs that do it. Yeah, I, I'm not the, I'm not a fan of that either. Um, say Fossey, I'm just not a fan. Photon Shuri are pesky defenders compared to Serpent. This guy is full bone unfair. Plus, Bullseye is a jackass on defense if he didn't drop AA. He is. Bullseye, like when Kabam Jack said he was up there with um, Onslaught and Maestro, I didn't believe him. Boy, was I wrong about that. Exactly what it's called, though. Lack of creativity. That's mess with our mastery because they're out of champ ideas. My thing is, how can you run out of champ ideas, though? Like I, I, I really, I'm really don't don't understand that because there is a vast multiversal field of play, uh, champions. There's no way you can run out of ideas. Boys are instant loss. Yeah, I'm about to say like they're creating champions now where like if you don't have a specific counter, like a specific counter, then you're screwed. You are screwed. Like and that that doesn't make the game fun. Like, Bullseye needs a specific counter. Onslaught needs a specific counter. Maestro, he has a few counters. Serpent, specific counter. And this is like, at this point, if every champion that you sort of release in 2023 and 2024 needs a specific uh, counter, that's going to take away from the game. Like, we already have to deal with this AI. That's just not fun. Oh, goodness gracious. Backdraft intercept. It makes me so mad. It makes me so mad. This AI knows exactly what you're trying to do. Okay. I threw my special. Doesn't matter. Instead of focusing on indirectly rendering our mastery or less useless, now how about fixing input issues? Kabam. Right to jail, right away. I agree. Like that, that, that should be the first priority. Like it, we should not have been dealing with these input issues for years at this point. Like it's it's starting to really get frustrating to me. How you doing, Andy Beck? And I'm I'm starting to get annoyed with MCLC. That's how I'm doing. Like I'm starting to get to the point where I'm not getting annoyed with this game. I'm trying to remain optimistic, but like these input issues that we're having, especially in Battlegrounds, one of the best modes in the game, and they're not no one's doing anything about them. If it feels like we're the I'm the only one complaining. Well, I'm not the only one, but if it feels like every day I'm I'm saying the same complaints about the game and nothing's being done about the game, being like the, nothing's being done to address the issues that we're having.
sidestep. I want Kabam to do well. I want the game to last for many more years. But it's hard to enjoy a game you like when things don't get fixed right away. Keep releasing in-game content instead of fixing bugs. I agree. I 100% agree. That's exactly why like, I started playing other games. Like, I'm not going to just focus on MCLC anymore. Like, a game that... I, I, can't, I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> I just can't focus on this game. Like, I don't even, I'm not even motivated to play this game offline anymore. Like, when I'm not streaming, I have no desire to play the game. Like, legit, no desire to, like, do anything. Like, that my, my new alliance, they got to keep reminding me, uh, make sure they place defenders. And I'm like, I don't really feel like doing war. I don't feel like being stressed about this game outside of um, streaming. I do it for y'all because I know y'all like when I complain and y'all like telling me I'm not skilled at the game and stuff like that. I'm not doing it offline. I'm not doing it offline just for fun. Like matchmaking is still an issue in Battleground. There's so many things you can complain about in this game. Don't get up so lefty. Why don't you boot up MK1 if you're not having fun right now? Oh, I don't mind. I'm, I'm going to finish the stream out, but I think like on Thursdays in the future, I'm going to start playing other games. Okay, Ferris, I enjoy your Omni Man and Peacemaker short, by the way. Thanks, Andy Becker. Tomorrow, I think I might release Johnny Cage's fatalities because they're really cool. You don't need skill in some fights. That's true. That is true. There's, uh, that's the thing. People used to like watching you struggle MC, but right now everyone's struggling. It's not fun anymore. It's not. I 100% I, I agree with that. And, I, it, and the one thing I told y'all, like, if y'all don't like something, don't play it or don't do it. And they will, um, they will definitely fix it. And that was, I'm getting to that point where it's just like, I'm not going to continue to complain about something. You're not going to fix it, Kabam. Like, if you're not going to fix it, clearly you don't care about the player base. So I'm just going to play different games. And if I lose subs because of it, I understand. But I'm not going to be annoyed with the game that I tell you this is wrong. Please fix it, and you don't do anything. Instead, you release champions that are even more annoying with a ramped AI. Like, I'm not going to continue to do that. When's a Quan Chi short coming? Y'all want me to release? How about I release at least one fatality short a week for the next couple of weeks? Because there are so many. Um, yeah, I think I might do that. I think I might do that. It's early uh, days in BG2, not many in Glider Circus, so lots of people climbing. Man, you sound closer to me than uh, than in the game. Ghost Talk, is, it's, I'm getting to the point where like I complain about the same issues and it's like beating a dead horse. We got input issues, we have a ramped AI, we got champions that shut down nodes. It's like, this is not getting fun anymore. Like I'm, I'm starting to tinker on the line of like, I'm not having fun right now. Like when y'all ask me, why don't you do uh, this? Or why don't you do this content or that content? It's like... I don't really want to because it's not worth it. Like, I don't feel like when I was in Necropolis, my character kept dashing back on its own, legit dashing back on its own. And I couldn't do anything. And it's like, no, one, I don't want to keep dealing with that. So I don't know. I don't want to leave MCL. I'm not going to leave the game. I'm probably still going to play, but I definitely want to just venture out and play other games like I want to have fun with video games. Like, I don't want it to feel annoying. And I can't say, like, I'm having... I can't say I'm having a bad time, but I also can't say, like, I'm having... Like, this game is just as fun as it's ever been. How you doing, Alain Plante? Games are meant to be fun. Uh, not a reason to be frustrated. I, and I kind of admit, like, it, this game kind of frustrates me. I'm getting to the point where, like, I'm getting tired of being frustrated. I'm getting tired of complaining about the same stuff all the time. 
Like... Please, just at least if you're not gonna if you're not gonna change the way you're releasing champions and you you're gonna continue to release champions that shut down masteries, at least fix the inputs. Like I feel like that's not asking too much. Like it's not. Like you can fix the inputs. What's going on, Truth Comic? How are you doing? Like they should assign a task force team to fix the inputs. You know what they said last year? They made huge progress, big steps were being made, and it feels like it's partly being undone now. I agree. Lefty might be joining the MCC retirement with Ghost Dog. I don't know if I'm going to retire, but I'm getting tired of complaining about the same stuff. Like, I'm, get, I'm really getting tired. Like, how many times do I have to say my inputs failed, or I pressed my special, or I pressed my relic, or why, what happened right there? I dashed back. It's like, I'm getting tired of saying that. Like, are, are you, is anyone listening? Is anyone listening at Kabam? Like, are y'all going to do anything about these input issues? So like I'm like I'm thinking on Thursdays I might play like Hell maybe God of War or Hell Divers or something Fortnite Friday Mortal Kombat Saturday and Sunday maybe I take the day off. That's what I'm thinking. Cause I don't feel like being stressed about this game all the time. Like I want to have fun in video games. I want to beat new levels and conquer new worlds. Uh, they are listening. They said sucks to suck and release more uh, champs that go unblockable and you won't uh, be able to dex. I guess. If Kabam doesn't listen to a guy that is in there, CCP, they don't listen to a random player. I don't know what, the, I'm not saying they don't listen, but like, I feels like my complaints about the AI are falling on deaf ears uh, and like the input issues. It feels like they're falling on deaf ears and it's like, are you just not going to, you just going to choose to ignore what I'm saying about the inputs here? Like, there are times, like, you think I show y'all replays on my stream about what happened, like, certain interactions. Like, the other day, when I, when I threw a special one against Atuma, he ran right into it, and because since he was uh, attacking me, none of the inputs registered. Like, you don't think, you think that's okay, Kabe? Like, you cannot think that's fine. Oh, it's working as intended. No, it's not. That, if you want your game to intentionally work like that, then maybe I'm missing the point of MCLC. Yeah, I remember that. They all it's like how, how I threw. He ran right into my SP one. He ran right into it, and no no hit landed. It's like that that cannot be right. That has to be a bug. You there's no way you didn't notice that. It's like so, Bobby Fist. When you ask me, yo, you should do Necropolis or you should do um, the CCP challenges. I don't really want to because it's like it's not going to be fun. I'm just going to be complaining about the things I always complain about and nothing's going to happen because of it. And I'm probably going to have to end up brute forcing my way through it. And that is just not fun. This game should be based on skill, not how big your wallet is. I mean, yeah, I, say, I, I, still got, I still got that footage. I didn't delete that footage. Adam threw his special while in the pod. I, sh I sent that to Kabam. I did, they, do have, they do have that. That's fair. You should have fun playing games. If it's not fun, don't do it. That's, that's how I've been feeling lately. Broken hitboxes, input issue, ramped AI. What has happened to this game? It's been two years or something like that. We should have been getting compensation packets weekly. I agree. 100% agree. 100%. Yeah, but I'll say, I have, I have Adam throwing a special inside of his pot. I saved that. I don't even know where I put it at. Hold on. Let's see. Gameplay. Right here. Adam throwing a special inside of his pod. Oh, what happened to it? Uh, I don't think that's it. That's not it. I don't know where I put it at. Oh, I know where I put it at. Hold on. Oh, that was him when he was stunned. That's why. I'm like, oh, what was happening there? Hold on. Uh, where's the short at? Um, finished products. I 
Adam bug. Sidestep. Gosh, this AI and this sidestepping has got to stop. Good times. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Never thought I'd see Adam do that crazy. Yeah, that's not the only bug I have with Adam. Like, when I was playing with Archangel that one time I showed you, he would he literally had the stun icon on him when I knocked him down, and he got up and threw a special like the stun wasn't even there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to, like, want to play other games now. Like, I, I, I try to give MCOC a chance, but if you're not going to fix the inputs then there's no reason for me to put time and energy in this game as much as I used to. Game of such a match is not, it's, it's making me mad, it's sad. It's not making me mad, it's just literally just pushing me in the direction of other games now. Like, it, it's kind of like, maybe it's like a freeing feeling like, you know, I gave MCLC a chance. I voiced my concerns with, with Kabam. Nothing was done about it. You can't do nothing if someone's not willing to fix what, like, what you're having issues with. Like, I'm telling you what is wrong and you, if you're not going to fix it, I can't do anything for you then. Like, I tried. I legit tried. Like, I tried to make it work with you, and you're not letting me be great here. So, okay, what can I do here? Hmm. So, if you see me playing a game on Thursdays, like a different game like Helldivers, don't be surprised. I think I'm going to start doing that maybe next week. Go read Mike's post about the annoying defenders after this match. What did he say? Play a different Marvel game since you play a lot of games now. A different Marvel game? I can't think of another Marvel game I want to play. Like, I don't want to play Marvel. What's it called? Different Fight? Or what's it called? Better Fight? Or something Fight? Forced to Fight? No, it's not Forced to Fight. What is it called? That's another game. Another Marvel game. I forgot what it's called. Ball. I, I, I dexed. I dexed. Just bull. This. Let me guess. CGR now also shuts down dexterity. I'm going to send a message to Kabam. Hold on, guys. You don't want to play Midnight Suns, would you? What is that game? I never heard of it. Future Fight is garbage. Yeah, I'm not playing that game. That looks that game looks dumb. That game looks dumb. It doesn't look like it's a fun game. I tr I actually played that game years ago. Oh, let me see. What where's Mike's post on the forums? Let's see what he says about the uh the forums. What what is it under? Like I'm have I have a hard time finding it. Oh, this is new showcase. What is this? We'll be introducing new type of content. The Alliance War showcase. Okay, I'm not doing that. I'm not even gonna read it. Man, I sent this Marvel game turn based. Magic High Star Fighting. Where is what is Kabam's Mike? Uh, Kabam Mike's post.
I couldn't find it. Where has Dooley Ray been? I haven't seen him stream in a while. Oh, that, that's it. Let me see if I can find it. I want to read what it says. Hey, OP, I agree with some of these things. We are unaware that we're doing uh, that. We've been going a little hard on five out of five defenders lately, and do plan on toning it down in the future. Unfortunately, we had to catch up on catching up to do with the attackers we released over the years, without any defenders to match, especially in certain classes. Defenders are important. This is the game. It may seem out of touch with the average player wants, but ask any game developer, and they will tell you more often than not that what the players wants and what the game needs is usually widely different. I, I can agree with that. And. Internally and looking forward, over the last month or so, we already adjusted some of our plans for a number of upcoming champions, so they weren't as strong on defense. This isn't to say that there won't be any five out of five, out of five, out of five defenders coming your way in the future, but you can expect fewer of that than there you've seen in the few last few months. And they're making us pay for their catch-up. This is not our fault, Kabam. I, I don't know how to respond to that message. I, I don't know what to say. Like, I, I don't know what to say to that. I, yep, I don't know. How, I don't have a response to it. I don't know what to say to that. All I can say is okay. Yep, I don't. I legit cannot think of any response to say that. At least they're acknowledging that they understand. How did he dex out of that? I'm so glad I have Kitty. So glad I have her. And I can't parry for some odd reason. Input issues are exact main reason why I don't play BGs uh, none of it. Yeah, I'm getting to the point Lux is like BGs just I'm I'd be trying to get motivated to do BGs, but every day I think like oh I'm gonna play BGs today. I'm like so I'm gonna be annoyed for two hours. That's that's your idea of fun, and I can't say you know that's fun to me. It's not like being annoyed for two hours, playing a mode where there's issues where you're at a clear disadvantage to the AI. I'm going for 20 minutes, and we're still on input issues. Just switch it up, man. What's your favorite ice cream or something? Input ice cream. We had them catching up to do with the attackers we released over the years without any defenders to match. Amazing. We play we pay for that catch up, and we're supposed to like them. Right to jail, right away. Oh, I was going to use Torch, but he's not going to be a good idea. The odds are stacked against us. They are. Like, I'm, I'd be trying to find ways to love the game. But Battlegrounds with these input issues and this ramped AI is just... I'm at a boiling point. So essentially they messed up and we're supposed to suffer for it. Make it make sense. <sighs> they say they, they created attackers who don't have many defenders. 
That's what you have nodes for, Kabam. That's what nodes are for. We you may we may have OP attackers, but you you y'all have literally created nodes that counter every champion, every single champion. So saying, oh, you know, we no no y'all have y'all have nodes where y'all can shut down entire defenders. Y'all have done it before. I've seen it. I have never went past bronze and BG because I'm just not entered. Bronze is the highest I've ever been. Well, I when I get the gladiator circuit, I don't try hard after that. It's like, nope, I'm not trying. I'm not going to put an effort to be sweating. I'm going to leave that to everyone else. I'd rather y'all just roast me for being bad at the game. I'm not going to uh, stress myself playing Battlegrounds. We've been watching them shut down Hurt for months. Right, it's like, you no, know, you, you can say that we have overpower attackers. Y'all have these nodes that shut down every every champion. No one's trying to hear that, Kabam. Like, it, <laughs> no one's trying to hear that. You have no, you have created nodes specifically for certain champions. Specifically. Like, come on, come on, Kabam. Come on. Come on now, dog. I was saying mid set for battlegrounds, and they man. put those not called tokens there. So I'm stressed, stressed to get to Gladiator Circuit. Oh, I'm in no rush to get there. The the seven star. To be honest, I'm just gonna say it. Seven star Nightcrawler is not enticing to me. It's just not. I'm sorry, guys. I don't care what his buff is. Let's be for real. If you got seven star Nightcrawler, it's highly unlikely you would take him up to become Valiant. You may take him up eventually in the future when Seven Stars are common and we got the resources for him. But let's not act like uh, Seven Star Nightcrawler is a game changer. He's not. I hate to be the I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but he's not. Like, sure, it's, it's appeasing because it's a seven star. That's the only reason. It's a, it's a seven star. Like, if they want to appease me, they would have made a seven star kingpin. Then I would be like, you know what? That's worth it. Kingpin is worth the um, worth the effort. But maybe maybe I'm being a little harsh. Maybe the harshness is too harsh for the kitties. I'm just saying. That seven star that seven star nightcrawler, it maybe maybe it's me, maybe I'm a cynic, but it ain't it ain't impress I'm not impressed. I'm not like, oh snap, I need to get that. This is like if I don't get it, okay. <laughs> okay. Like, are y'all really that much excited? Domino Core, Killmonger, Mangog, Sasquatch, Kingpin, Mephisto, Nick Fury, Iron Man, Infinity War, Man Thing, Doctor Doom, Thing, and all this, and that's up to 2019. We had good defenders, Kabam. No need to catch up. Fair. Maybe it's just me, but I'm just like, that Nightcrawler. Imagine Seven Star Mystic Spotty. I will grind for that. Mystic Spotty. But Nightcrawler, I'm not really motivated. Like, I'm like, eh. I'm just. I'm just not motivated for a seven star nightcrawler. Maybe it's me. Imagine seven star Herc. Triple G, how you doing? I'm not gonna imagine that because I know Kabam's not gonna make a seven star Herc. I know they're not. I know it. I'm calling it now. About a seven star Herc, bruh. Bruh. A seven star Herc would be a nice idea. I will grind for a seven star Herc. Like I will, I will definitely uh, stop complaining. But I, I, I don't see. I do not see them making a seven star Herc. Don't see it at all. I ascended Taskmaster. He's pretty cool. Why are you doing mutant? You ascended Taskmaster. You may be the first person I know that ascended the Taskmaster. Taskmaster? Why? Can I ask, can I ask why you ascended Taskmaster?
Could you imagine a seven star Herc though? Man. I'm still mad at Kabam for not making um, Quake and Magic at six stars. I feel like you sh we shouldn't have to fight against a champion that isn't a six star. Like there should be no seven star Magic if we can't have access to seven star Magic. What do you think a plant is? Is Taskmaster a seven star? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, do I need Herc for anything else? I don't. Okay. We have Timmy who says I'm asking, but six star magic is too powerful. Good point. Good point. That is a very good point. After you added Serpents to the game, you should go ahead and make magic a six star. You should go ahead and do it. It is time. No seven star Taskmaster yet. Uh, that um, Bobby Fist, that is a very good point, bro. How did he hit me? He was just. That is a good point. Oh, man, that is a very good point. Yeah, he, two words have not been spoken. I, that is a very good point. Like, I, I really like, bro, that's one of the bro, Bobby Fish. Has anyone told you you're a genius? Has anyone told you that? Because you deserve that title today. Like, you definitely deserve that title. Because that is so wise to say. And they're afraid of the unavoidable limbo damage. Psych, we have Onslaught who does unavoidable damage. Good point. That is a good point. Like, I can understand Quake. And y'all not wanting to make Koreka seven a uh, six star? Magic should be in and should be in consideration to be a six star now. Especially with that's a good point. That is a very good point. I don't think they're ready for that discussion though. Who am I used to here? I think I'm going to go here. I'm going to see if uh, Abismay can do this fight. That one Tiger suck, especially the Warlock one. Oh, one of Fintech's challenges. Bro, I parried. Gosh, these inputs suck, bro. And of course, I get parried. <laughs> Bam be like, you want six star magic? Right to jail, right away. Mojo's warlock is pretty bad as well.
He left you done with the legacy ones. The karate mic ones are definitely fintech cycle one where I don't have a challenge. Good afternoon, Starla. What's going on, Xander? How are you doing? How has Final Fantasy been treating you? If you aren't good at Tiger, you'll have to play probably 50 plus. It's been fun. I love it. Uh, Xander, are you ever going to play MCLC again? It's a curiosity question. Bro, this is what I'm talking about. I cannot parry today. Uh, like, parry timing is definitely off today. He tried to get that. I seen that coming. Oh, I I'm I thought I was late on that parry. I don't know how Archangel did this, did that fight today. You can't parry today. Well, we can't parry any day. <laughs> At least the parry works in Mortal Kombat. Unlike you guessed it, lads. <laughs> MCLC. I don't know how to parry in Mortal Kombat. But I'm trying to tell you, I'm somewhat good at it. Even though, like, I think Bobby Fist, I keep doing the same moves, but they're effective. If you're not good with Tiger. Right to jail, right away. I'm close. I feel like I'm close to beating that game. I think I definitely want to play Hell Divers though. It looked like they got mechs in there. I was like, what is a mech? I do want to stream MCOZ and Goon, but for um but for now I just want to stream and play what I enjoy. Ah, Xander. You know what, Xander? I'm getting to that point now. I'm keep like we I'm we keep having the same issues. And I feel like I'm getting to the point where I'm just tired of complaining about the same thing I always complain about. Like, one day it's parries, then it ramped AI, then my inputs aren't working. It's just like I'm getting tired of complaining about the same stuff and nothing's being done about it. So, like, I'm really, uh, I think on Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, I might just play other games. Because I don't feel like complaining about um, this game for hour, uh, two hours for four to five days a week. I just don't, I'm at the point where I don't feel like it anymore. I want to play fun games. Games that whose inputs actually work. I feel like I'm going to raise on stream for MCOC and other games. I am because it's like, it's like it, this game will definitely gaslight you. Like have you thinking like you didn't do something right when in fact you did. Like you know what parry is. I've been, I know what parry is. I've been playing this game for nine years. I know how to parry. I know, I, I know parry timing. And this is, it's getting to the point where it's like, I, I'm just not motivated as I used to be. Like it's one thing, like if it's my fault, but Every time there's an update, there's a new issue with uh, inputs. And it's just like, I don't feel like dealing with this every single month. Open um, a, a feature. No, I don't really feel like it. I don't feel like being disappointed. I'm going to do a crystal opening. I actually got to open some crystals now, matter of fact. We got to open these because they're going away in eight, uh, eight days. Leave us here on the weekends. We need new games every day, Monday through Friday. You know what? That's actually a model. That's actually a dream. Like to play... A different game every day, like Monday, um, Hell Divers, Tuesday, God of War, Wednesday, Fortnite, Thursday, Spider Man 2, Friday, what will Friday be? What, what other game do I play? Mortal Kombat, Saturday, MCOC. That is definitely probably the direction I will go eventually. Yeah, yeah, I, I probably will do that eventually. Like, I probably will move in that direction. I'm kind of excited about it too. Honestly, I'm just waiting for more fixes to the uh, inputs and the AI. I kind of am too, but I don't know if they're going to do that anytime soon. Like, I, I sent them a message today, let them know what, that I'm having a lot of input issues in Battlegrounds. Blade, did you, oh, when does Blade come out? Because I want, I definitely want to stream that. Yeah, MCOC uh, on a week uh, on a weekend break is way better than streaming every day and being constantly annoyed at the AI. I kind of agree. I'm just going to miss making the thumbnails for it. 
A variety of new games a day can't really hurt. I kind of agree, but I feel like I definitely want a main game to play. Like a game that I, I always go back to. Me and two James are going to do a Thursday night football thing. I think Conjure will be this Friday. Okay. I did see this. You were playing um, Madden the other day. I did see that. Blade just started pre-production sometime. What? They said Blade was coming out. Man. They said Blade was coming out in February. I remember someone saying that. I could have swore Blade was coming out in February. Yeah, I played against my son. I didn't get to see the end. Who won? I don't even remember. Blade got delayed due to console wars, I believe. Uh, oh, my gosh. Blade was dropping places. Nah, Blade ain't coming out anytime soon. What games come out this year? Is there a list of games that are coming out for sure this year that aren't getting pushed back? Because GTA 6 was supposed to come out this year. They pushed that back to 2026. Blade was supposed to come out. They pushed that back. Like, what games are for sure coming out? Like, for sure. To me, it's been the face to see all types of new content come out in MCC, but the inputs have been a problem for years. And someone like a is saying, fixed inputs will make them no money. Maybe, but I can't speak for, um, for Kabam and what they're doing behind the scenes. But I'm going to say this. I'm not going to continue to just uh, telling you what's wrong with the game and you're not going to do anything about it. So if you don't want to fix it, I can't make you fix it, but I'm just going to play other games. Like... I'm just going to have to start playing other games. That's all I ever can do. And I, to be honest, I'm kind of excited because if I were to make another game, my main game, I'm thinking Helldivers might be the way to go. That I was, It was fun watching people play that. But maybe that game is too technical. I don't know. Now they pushed the Blade game. They're pushing the Blade game, huh? I don't know how much feedback they want need. I don't know either, but if you're not going to fix the inputs, I don't need to be playing a game where it's a broken game because now it's it's not fun anymore. Like I'm tired of complaining about the same stuff every single day. Held out a Fortnite. Uh, to be honest, one of those two games might be my new game, my my new main game. That's what I'm thinking because I'm tired of I'm tired of complaining about the same stuff every day. Like these inputs, they, they, at this point, they need to, they need, that, that's to be priority number one. They need to be fixed. They just do. You should try Rainbow Six. No, nah, I'm not playing that game. That's an older game. I want to play something new. Drop inputs or so. Look at for command so they fix. They need the money. Maybe. We're getting milked at this point, chat. I'm just gonna start playing other games. I think tomorrow I'm I might I might play a different game tomorrow. I, I might play a different game tomorrow. I, I don't feel like I'm tired of being stressed about this game. I tried. I put out the award show. I, I feel like I've done my part. Play MK tomorrow. Mortal Kombat? I could play Mortal Kombat tomorrow. I could play that tomorrow. I'm kind of excited. I could play that tomorrow. I could definitely play Mortal Kombat tomorrow. I think I can. I think I can do that. Give a give MCOC a break. Honestly, it's up to you. Uh, it's up to you to like. Will we always be here for you and watch whatever you want? You don't have to stream the same game multiple times if that really annoys you. That it's not what we want. We got. Uh, we want to see you enjoy the games you play. I kind of do. I'm not saying I'm done with MCOC. It's just I, I just need to. I think I need to break from it because I'm, I'm really getting to the point where I'm getting annoyed. What's going on, Pablo? How are you doing? Put on Friday, God of War on Saturday. <laughs> God of War on Saturday. So in, uh, Mortal Kombat tomorrow, 
Fortnite on Friday and then God of War on Saturday. I could do that. I could do that. <laughs> you really want to see me play God of War? I do, I do want to release some God of War shorts. So, okay, that'll be the schedule. So, uh, tomorrow Mortal Kombat, Friday Fortnite, and then Saturday God of War. And what about Helldivers? I, I, I need to play Helldivers too. Maybe we can play Helldivers on Sunday. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then on Monday, we'll go back to MCOC, play MCOC from Monday to Wednesday, and then Thursday, different games. I can't wait for uh, Homelander's... Um, yeah, I have that intercept. I can't wait for Homelander's to come out in the game. I can't wait for him to come out in the game. Bet Helldivers on Sunday? Yeah, I think I'm, gonna I, I, I'm going to get Helldivers. I still need to get... Um, what's that game called? Grand Theft Auto. I still want to get that game, Grand Theft Auto Five, but I only want to play it with mods. Like I want to be Superman and Thor. Like I want to, I want to play with like that, play it that way. I don't know if they have that on PlayStation. I be watching other people play it, but they play it on PC. I'm like, how come they don't have mods for um PlayStation? What happened with MCOC? It's just the input issues are finally like starting to get under my skin. And I, I'm, I'm getting to the point where it's like, I don't feel like complaining about the same stuff every single day for five days a week for 365 days a year. I don't feel like doing that. Like the 52 weeks in a year and I, I, out, of, out of 50 out of those 52 weeks, I'm complaining about the AI and the input issues. And I got to convince you to get Helldivers on PC. I ain't rebuying a PS2. Can it, can't you play on cross platforms? You shouldn't have to rebuy, you shouldn't have to buy it again. Uh, I just played against you right now. GG CRB. That was well played. That wasn't even the input issue. That was just really good de uh, defense. GG's CRB. But if we play again, if we play again, you might win again. I can't lie. I'm too. I'm so frustrated with MCLC right now. I'm gonna miss making. Well, I'm not gonna miss it. I'm still gonna make the thumbnails. I think. I think my thumbnail format. For um for MCOC, I'm gonna do it for all the games I play, cause I think they look so cool with all the different titles. They just stand out to me. Yeah, man, a break does not hurt. All you can take a break as long as you want, and you really uh when you're ready, you can come back again fresh. I think I'm about to tone it down a bit, like maybe MCOC three days a week, and then we'll play other games on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, and Sundays. No, no, I ain't buying the membership again to play online for PS. I don't know if it's crossplay. Oh, that's right. PS does have a membership thing. Oh, that's so lame. That's one criticism about PS5. You know what? Maybe in the future when they release new consoles, maybe I would do a review of the new consoles and give my thoughts on them. I think I'm going to do that. Yes. Oh, so Helldivers only for PS? I probably won't make many shorts for um, Helldivers. It doesn't really look like a shorts-friendly mode, but I do have a short... Coming out tomorrow on Luke Cage. Not Luke Cage. Johnny Cage and his fatalities. His fatalities are perfect for social media. Y'all have inspired me, guys. Y'all have definitely inspired me to branch out. Maybe it's time to take the training wheels off. I don't know if... um. Helldivers should be monetized. Mortal Kombat shorts, I can't really monetize them. But I don't do I don't I don't make a lot of money off shorts anyway. So it doesn't really bother me. It's like I cannot monetize the the, the shorts. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm still gonna like put out content for MCOC. Like I'm gonna put out the breakdown video. There are actually some really good Helldiver shorts. Maybe I need to find some. Maybe I just need to find some. I, I want to put out content for all the games. Thank you, man. It was fun playing against you. And yeah, I got you. I get you. Everyone is frustrated at this game at the moment. I feel. Have a nice day. Thank you, CRB. Yeah, this game, I, I guess everyone's frustrated because they, they know the potential of this game. And it's frustrating where they're just tweaking the AI so we can't even use strategies and the AI sidestepping. It's like, no, I don't feel like dealing with that. Don't feel like it. I'm not going to do it with you today. I'm glad I'm not the only one because there was a point in time I felt like I was the only one uh, 
being frustrated with this game. I want to see you post some actual Fortnite content. I post shorts. Definitely not the only one left you trust. Yeah, I know. I just, maybe I just need a break. I think I, I'm going to still play MCOC, but I'm going to play it a little less. Meaning like I'm going to play it maybe three days a week, maybe Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, we're definitely playing other games. I just want to play other games and be happy. I want gameplay, sir. Challenge. New update. Review. New update review? Uh, an update on this current? I think it's still kind of early. I, but I could do a review on the season. Yeah, I could do that. Trolls who watch you stream will act like the issues don't exist just to make you more upset. They do do that. They do do that. I, I, I do agree with that. They they definitely do. It makes me laugh, though, especially when Marie says it. No, it's, it's not the AI. It's, it's the user. Okay. It's the user, huh? Okay. Got you. I'm the reason the AI is sidestepping me and special intercepting me. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. I heard Juice World will be the next Fortnite festival skin. Juice World? You mean like Travis Scott? Oh, that's Astral World. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. All right, now we got we got a little bit of break from uh, Battlegrounds. Maybe we can go back in there and play again. So tomorrow I will be playing Mortal Kombat. I want to beat that game. I probably won't do a review on that game because it came out last year. I think moving forward, uh, every time moving forward and every every new game I play that came out in the year I play it, then I will do a review on it. But like Spider-Man... God of War, Mortal Kombat. I won't do a review on those because those games are already out. Friday, four hours of Fortnite. You know what? I'm thinking about playing no builds in Fortnite. That's what I'm thinking about doing. I think I'm actually better in no builds than I am in builds. Because when I'm playing builds, I just shoot. I don't even try to build unless someone sneaks up on me. Someone say no bills. Yeah, I must. I'm gonna start playing more no bills. Cause I feel like it's that's just the mode I'm just equipped to play. Oh, my other light isn't even on. Hold on, guys. I was like wondering why it was so dark in here. I'm kind of excited to play another game. Zero Bills where it's at, unless you've been playing Bills since day one. I've been playing Bills since day one, but I'm not very I'm still not good at it. I think Bills are definitely for um PC players. That's definitely for PC players. Who oh, um <laughs> So try competing zero bills cash cup? I don't think I'm that good. I mean since the day of building it oh since like the since the very first day of um no bills. Makes sense. Let's see. Who do I go here? I could go here. All you need to do is practice your movement, and same movement is key. I agree.
All right, so Mortal Kombat tomorrow. God of War on Saturday. Hell Divers on Sunday. That's an interesting setup. But I like it. I'm here for it. Have a wonderful night left. I'll catch you later. All right, Xander. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, crap. He clipped me? Yeah, right. Of course I will get clipped. I don't feel like playing Battlegrounds right anymore. I'm good. We're getting more mythology skins, apparently. When is Kratos coming back? I need to get that Kratos skin from Fortnite. That's what I need. Let me know when that Kratos skin is back in the item shop, because I will be getting that skin. Especially since we're going to be playing. Oh, I can't, I'm, I'm going to beat God of War. Oh, man, I can't wait to beat God of War. God of War going to be great. Yeah, I'm going to stream that probably on Saturday, Xander. And I'm going to release some shorts for it too next week. So, yeah, I'm going to be streaming God of War very, very soon. Adding that to the list. I'm also getting Helldivers. And uh, God, uh, Game Th Grand Theft Auto, even though that game is like so old, I wish there was some mods for it for PlayStation. Odysseus might come, might come, Icarus might come, and a Taurus could come to the shop. Ares is also coming, but he's going to be in Fortnite crew. you got to pay $10 for Ares. Otherwise, he's going to be gone forever. $10 for Ares? It depends on how we look. If they make Ares look anything like Poseidon, then I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to pass. I'm going to have to pass. Right to jail. Right away. He's in the game as a boss right now. He sends you a screenshot on Discord. Oh, I've been, I've been, I've seen him before then. I fought, I fought all the bosses. Fought them all. It's kind of mid looking. <laughs> a lot of the Fortnite skins look like like cartoony, I guess. It's hard to explain, but they look like they just look like cartoons. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not buying everything in the shop. I would um I would but buy ten dollars. I don't understand what you're trying to say. What other game? Matter of fact, I'm gonna look at what what games has come out. Uh, new video games 2024. Let's see what comes out this year, guys. 2024 release schedule. Let's see. Sorry if that's bright. Um, Prince of Persia. Not playing that. Oh, that's January. We're in March. Okay, February. Hell Divers came out. Um, Sucker for Love. Titanic. What? Two, nope. 
Mario. Okay, Skull and Bones. I've, is that a pirate game? I've heard of that game before. Um, Terminator Dark Fate. Nothing good coming out. Wow. Star Wars Dark Force Remastered. Okay. Final Fantasy Rebirth. Okay, anyway. What comes out in March? So anything good? Hex Gambit. Crown Wars. The Pirate Queen. Um, Mars at the Midnight. Bro, like they have nothing. Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. Bro, I'm not getting that. Um, nothing good comes out this month. Okay, how about April? Uh, nothing. Wow. Demon Slayer. Okay, how about May? Nothing. June? Destiny 2. Uh, I won't be playing that, but interesting. Elden Ring, Shadow of Itri. That's interesting. Legends of the Hero. Black Myth. Why gotta be black? How come I can't just be a myth? Why gotta put the... <laughs> um, Final Fantasy, The Girl Who Steals Time. To be announced. Age of Empires. I remember this game. Okay, I'm not going through all this. They have no good games coming out this year. Wow. Who said we're in a golden age of video games? You got to play Elden Ring first? Uh, I probably won't be doing that. Probably won't be doing that. that that's the Dead on Arrival. No one asked me to play um, Elden Rings. Seriously, man, Hercules is epic. Games I thought Hercules was going to be in a battle pass. Maybe. Hey, I, no, no, he, you're right. He's not going to be in a battle pass anytime soon. Who knows who's going to be in the battle pass? I hope multiverse will be better than it was last time. Last time multiverse was too laggy and it skipped frames, which caused me to lose. Understandable. How you doing, DTM? Hope you're well. What is talking about? Our frustrations with this game. No, actually, the multiverse officially launched. That a beta you've been playing. You were playing Casey. Oh, it was the beta that you were playing? Okay. I gotta find a good Mortal Kombat. Your multiverse was uh, officially out. When is it, when is multiverse coming out? I kind of guess if that doesn't look like BGs. I, when we were playing BGs, I was having too many input issues, and it, it just got frustrating, and I didn't feel like playing anymore. Like, it's one thing to deal with a ramped AI. It's another thing when your inputs aren't working. So I was like, I need a break. And so tomorrow, we're playing Mortal Kombat. Friday, we're playing Fortnite. Saturday, we're playing God of War. Because these input issues are getting underneath my skin all the way.
How are you doing in um in uh, Battlegrounds DTM? Force close. That makes sense. Time is all one lefty, just not your patience. I agree. I can agree with that. I tried, but you know, not much I can do. How did this game force close? Also, the next Spider-Man game is going to be PS exclusive. I'm going to absolutely lose it. I don't think so, but you, yeah, you never know. I'm going to play BG a little so far this season. My time for BG is way down this season. Yeah, I'm about to say, it's just, BG is just not as fun as it used to be. It's just not as fun. Why is Serpent Red? I couldn't tell you. Could not tell you why he's red. I'm assuming it's a bug. I wonder if I should make Helldob as my new game. That'll be funny if Hell Divers became my new main game. Every time I level up Serpent, it's always Force closes the game. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, there's been so many Force closes in this game. I don't know what's going on with it. You have a plan to stream Helldivers. You guys can play together. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, we probably will. Probably will. Yeah, why is Serpent Red? What's going on, Larson? How are you doing? Not sure why he's red, but... Because he's mad? Why? Oh, because. Definitely make Helldivers or Fortnite one of your main games. It depends on what my chat wants to see. It's all about what y'all want. But I will say this, no matter the game, I get the same amount of views. Like, not all the time, but I usually get the same amount of views on whatever game I play. So it's like, y'all clearly just are here to see me, and that makes me feel good. Hell, that was looking like a more fun game, but Fortnite can easily build you a community. I would agree. I could make Fortnite my main game, because I could play that every day. Maybe there be might be a week where I just play Fortnite and I play MCOC on the weekends. Cause these are I, I can't lie these um input issues that is getting to me.
Can't even lie. A new game each day for Monday through Friday. MCC is a chillax weekend. Could be cool. I would do that, but I do want a main game I play, like a game where I like I can actually build a community. I definitely want something like that. Yeah, we've been streaming for two hours already. Is Helldiver a shooting game? Yeah, Helldiver is a shooting game. First person or third person? Third person shooter. Third person shooter. Tazzy Mortal and Rizzo Helldiver streams are super fun. Okay. Well, I need to get the game first. I haven't gotten the game yet. So once I get the game, then we can uh, consider which one might be my new game that I start streaming regularly. Because I cannot continue to play this game with all these issues. Is it online only? I don't think so. I don't think it is. There's a story, but you can literally finish it in like one stream. It's really short. Hell Divers has a story? I never see anyone playing Hell Divers like the story mode. Because it's short. Well, I do want. I'm, I'll put out. Maybe I'll put out a short or two on Hell Divers. Didn't know it was that short. People never play shooting games for uh, for the story. They always play the online mode, which half of the people see anyways. I don't want to play a game. That's the only thing I want to play. Like, with shooting games, Fortnite is the only shooting game that doesn't really have a lot of, well, that actually does something accurately about the cheaters. Like, Call of Duty, I wouldn't play that game because there's so many hackers, and it's like, I don't feel like dealing with that. It's like out of the frying pan into the fire with that. So, yeah, we're going to be playing uh, four. Over the next four days, we're going to be playing four different games. Hell Too Short is like one hour and 45 minutes long, way shorter than Modern Warfare 3 campaign and Christopher Judge speech at the Game Awards. Oh, ho, ho. that's funny. So we're going to release a short tomorrow, and we're going to play Mortal Kombat tomorrow, and then Fortnite on Friday. Maybe we'll play that for like three hours on Friday. Maybe. How's it going, on, Jackie J? It's going all right. We're going to start venturing out and playing uh, more games on the channel, which I'm kind of excited about. How are you doing, Jackie J? But I think I'm going to call it here, guys. Here is a Fossey's link. Tomorrow I will be playing Mortal Kombat, guys, so be prepared. Who doesn't cut in on the channel anymore? You know what, KC Thunder? You may be right. Like, not that people don't still love my MCOC content. They do. You can tell by my views, but it seems like other games I could be playing, they get just as many views as my MCOC streams. 
And I can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Like, I don't know if I'm doing that bad in MCLC or I'm doing that good with other games. So, who knows? But thank you for the 37 likes, guys. I appreciate it. Let's raise the Fosse. Yep, all right, I just dropped the link. If y'all can hit that sub button for me, guys, we're less than 350 subs away from 5,000. Please hit that sub button. I would love to hit 5,000 this month. I don't know if we will, but hopefully we can definitely hit it next month if we don't hit it next, this month. That's the goal. But I'm heading on out, guys. I'll be back tomorrow, same time, different game, Mortal Kombat. So be prepared. Like I always say, you guys stay safe, and I'm going to catch you on my next one. Y'all take care. Have a great and wonderful night.